Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are talking about some spoilers for February and specifically the base box. Um, got a couple other things to go over. Um, two of the items I do want to talk about a little bit more specifically because I think it's interesting and you might like it. <laughs> we have some details about the add-ons, the customization, and um, yeah, so if you want to hear everything that's going on with Boxy Charm, then make sure to keep on watching this video, of course. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button and become part of the Wolf Pack today. Now let's get into it. Oh, and again, I, I don't like, I'm not trying to sound like a broken record, but make sure you enter the giveaway for the Lexi Dreamcatcher brush set. Um, I will link down the video where you go to actually enter the giveaway. All right, so first up, I do want to say that Boxy Charm has started a GoFundMe account to um, send support to Australia because of the, the wildfires, the brush fires are going on over there, and it's devastating. Like, I, I am very, very sensitive when it comes to animals. Like, I know people are losing their homes, and that's devastating as well, um, but, uh, you know, things can be replaced. Um, animals over half a billion animals have died and I it breaks my heart every time I think about it and the photos that are coming out it just if, you, if it's not tugging at your heartstrings I'm sorry <laughs> I don't know why it is not upsetting you um, but they are setting up a GoFundMe page they are not going to be giving the funds to the Australian Red Cross because of some things especially that happened last year there were some articles going on where they were asked to release their information saying how much money actually went to the reason you know to the causes that they were supporting and they refused to give that information so joe went on his personal igtv and he posted a long discussion about why they're not giving that money to the australian red cross um, if you want to check that out make sure you check them out on igtv just want to mention that really quickly i will have a link to the gofundme account as well in the description of this video sorry i just want to make sure everyone is aware because you'd be surprised how many people don't know what's going on over there and i just want to make sure that you have some information and plus do your own research figure out who you want to donate to just help in any way you can even if it's just a dollar okay so we have three new spoilers for the February base box. Um, I hadn't even got my January box and we already have three spoilers for February. I'm really surprised. Like this stuff is coming out so quickly. Um, and also customization. The three things we're gonna talk about in this video, we have a eyeshadow palette, a foundation, and a skincare item. These are your customization items. Monday the 13th, the customization for the base box will open for those who have early access meaning if you are a Lux member or a premium member or if you're on the wait list you'll have early access to make your choice then then the next day on the 14th all access opens so everyone every charmer can make their choice then Thursday the 16th everyone who is on the premium list not wait listers but everyone who is an active premium subscriber will be able to make your choice for that item I don't know what those are yet <laughs> hopefully we'll get that really really soon and also add-ons with from what I have heard online, this is a rumor, I haven't seen it posted anywhere myself, they're saying that the customization items, those are going to be your choice items for February. Um, so add-ons, Monday the 13th, early access will happen for those who are on the wait list for Lux and Premium, and then the next day everyone will have access to add-ons. Now if you're curious about what the items are going to be for customization add-ons, that's what we're going to talk about in this video. These are going to be your customization options, and then those options will become your options for add-ons. So yeah, we've got an eyeshadow palette, a foundation, skincare. Like it looks really, really good. Boxy Charm is opening up strong for February. So the first thing I want to talk about is an eyeshadow palette. This is from Iconic London. It is the Day to Slay eyeshadow palette. Retails for $58. I think that's kind of expensive in my opinion, but I've never tried their formula, so it could be that it's really, really amazing. If you are a neutral lover, like an everyday kind of palette, this is really nice. And I like that it has enough deep shades so that if you want to add a little bit more drama, a little bit more intensity to your eye look, you can do that very easily. And the shimmers that are in there, especially on the bottom row, like the two purplish pinkish shades on the end, on the right side, like those are really pretty. It looks like a well-rounded, easy to use palette. I'm, I'm really impressed with the way this looks. Like I said, I've never tried their formula, so I can't speak on to that how it is, but I know they've been in Boxy Pop-Up a few times, and a lot of people really enjoyed them. 
the next item that we have, and this is one I'm going to talk about a little bit more. This is the Kate Somerville Bio Mimicking Peptides Serum. This is supposed to smooth and firm your skin. Now, this retails for $98. Like, it's expensive. I'm hoping there's a reason why it's expensive. Like, it's really, really good. I do want to say that it has 330 reviews on Sephora.com. Over 1,600 loves. So, people are looking at it. $98. I can't get over that. Serums are always more expensive because it's more of a higher concentrate of the active ingredients. Just to tell you really quickly what the actual product is, according to Sephora site, it is a high performance concentrate with a signature blend of five peptides that work together to refresh and renew the skin as it firms, smooths, and hydrates. Yes, yes, yes. I really like all of those. It's a lightweight serum, so that's good. And this is mostly going to target if you have concerns like loss of firmness, elasticity, fine lines, and wrinkles. Bosch Charm has really been coming through with some good skincare here lately. Oh, speaking of skincare, if you are interested in subscribing to Bosch Charm or if you're thinking about opening up a second account, they have a really, really good offer going on right now. For new subscribers, you can get the Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion, which that stuff is crazy expensive. I think it's like $83. We've had it uh, before in Bosch Charm. I love it. <laughs> I don't agree with the price of it, but I love that product. And also, you can get the Elemis Superfood Veggie Mask. That's the previous, or an item we got previously in Boxy Charm. And I think mine is up here somewhere. I think right here. You know, boop. <laughs> I think that's it there. I like to display my makeup and skincare. So if you want to get both of those as your new member gift, use the code Get My Skincare. Um, and also, if you are considering subscribing to Boxy Charm, I do have my referral link down below. I don't get any money from it, but I do get extra charms to spend in the charm shop. Okay, so back to Kate Somerville. I think this is the first time that we've had Kate Somerville in the box at all. And I know that there was recently some survey questions that had Kate Somerville on the list. So those surveys, people who are getting those, I haven't been getting them. They've been getting sent to me from other subscribers. That's just telling you what's coming up with Boxy Charm. Like, I'm really impressed with the items that they've been asking us about. I'm still waiting for the MAC items. I want to get some uh, foundation from MAC. Uh, but one thing people say just after one use, 94% of women showed highly significant improvement in the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So that must be some very, very potent stuff. It has a 4.5 out of 5 stars with a 92% recommendation. So a lot of people really, really like this. Like, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, the other item that we have is a foundation. This is from Becca. This is the Ultimate Coverage 24-Hour Foundation, and it retails for $44. So the sample cards that they were sending out to everyone, you know, we had the ones for the Pretty Vulgar Concealer, which is coming out in the January box. If you've already gotten yours and you've gotten the concealer, can you let me know what you think of it? Um, but the other samples that they were sending out was the Becca Foundation. And I mean, I had my suspicions that that's what it was going to be, but they kept showing other things, talking about other stuff. So I kind of didn't know for sure that that's what the foundation was. I went through and read the reviews on this on Sephora.com. A lot of the people who didn't like it, they said that it was cakey, but this is a full coverage foundation. Full, full, full coverage. I haven't purchased it, but I did go to Sephora um, and I tested it there and they, you know, color matched me for it. And it is insanely full coverage. You're supposed to be able to wear it for up to 24 hours, but I don't do that because I don't like to wear makeup that long. But I love the component. I thought it was something brand new whenever Nikki Tutorials reviewed it last year, but apparently they've had that foundation for a while. It's just they repackaged it or maybe reformulated it. Um, she did a 24-hour challenge, and it did so incredibly well. But she honestly knows how to put on foundation and everything. Like, she knows how to layer everything and lock it into where it's not going to budge. But she went to an amusement park, and I'll link that video down below because, honestly, it's an entertaining video. If you want to get some ideas on how to use it, because she has, I don't know if it's rosacea. She has, like, her skin is very pink, and it covers, like, it's coverage so good like i said i'll link it down below if you want to check it out but as far as sephora it has over 2,000 reviews and it has a 3.5 out of 5 stars excuse me 3.9 out of 5 stars so it's not doing too bad um the negative reviewers was talking about how cakey it was and i also noticed that a lot of the people who didn't like it have dry skin so it may be something that um if you have dry skin maybe you need to make sure that you 
put a very, very hydrating base on if you get that in your box. Um, people who loved it, they had oily and combo skin. But again, those people also said that it lasted maybe eight hours and then it started to get cakey. Like eight to 12 is whenever it started to change. So I don't know. With thicker foundations like that, a lot of times you have to less is more with things like that. Um, I don't know. It just depends. I actually really hope I get this foundation because like I said, I was going to buy it, but whenever I saw how full coverage it was, I, at that time I was shy about it and I didn't want to get it. Now I'm all about it. I want to try it and see how it does. And especially if I can get it in BoxyCharm, you know, for $25. Like just that one item, any one of these items, the box is paid for. The box is done. Like anything else that you get is just a bonus. Boxy Charm has really kicked it in high gear in 2019 and they are starting off 2020 with a bang. Like they are just doing so good. I got my Ipsy Plus and Ultimate for December and I haven't put those videos out because we had a lot of things going on. Everything was working against us in December and then the holidays happened. Um, but things are back on track now and um, I was looking at the products that I got in that box. I'm just not happy with it. Like, it's just not that good. And even my spoilers for the January box, I think I'm going to cancel Ipsy altogether. I just, I'm not enjoying it. I would rather put my money into BoxyCharm, getting more add-ons, you know, shopping their pop-up. I think that's what I kind of want to do. I may change my mind later, but for now, that's kind of where I'm headed. All right, guys. Um, well, I hope everyone's having a good evening, a good day, a good afternoon, whenever you're watching this video. I love you all, and comment below what you're most excited for and which one will you be choosing. Are you going to choose the foundation, eyeshadow palette, or skincare? I love you all, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!